Hello spooky people, it is Lilith and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day. Today I will be sharing with you how I do my makeup. So this is a tutorial from start to finish on how I do my eyebrows, eyes, foundation. Uh, I do something a little different with my makeup every time I did it, but this is kind of more focused on the base and the sort of techniques that I use and then subsequent tutorials will probably just focus on the eye makeup itself. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First, I start off by shaving off whatever is left of my eyebrows. I've been doing this for about the past six months, but before that I had been thinking about doing it for years and I'm really happy that I did. It's nice not having to deal with eyebrows when I do my makeup. I go ahead and I add some primer to give myself a good base for when I go in with my concealer and foundation. I like this Makeup Revolution primer that I've been using recently, but I would also recommend the ones from e.l.f. This concealer is from e.l.f. as well, and I really love their products. They're really affordable, and I like the formula on them. I haven't really had any issues with any of their face products. In recent years, I've been doing my base in like kind of a natural color. It's a few shades lighter than my real skin tone, but like not too far off. I used to do more of like the pure white kind of gothic makeup, and that's cool too. Uh, it's just kind of the same process with different shades. Like e.l.f. makes this concealer in a pure white shade, and that makes it a lot more like that sort of trad goth makeup. I've been using this Manic Panic foundation for a few years, and I really enjoy it. I would compare the consistency of it to more of like a BB or a CC cream than like a full coverage foundation. But if you combine it with like a decent concealer and then just powder it down, um, you can get a decent amount of coverage for it, which I personally don't like super heavy foundation, so that works for me personally. I set with a translucent powder, uh, so it looks white, but it doesn't really change the color of the makeup much, which is fine. I like a white powder, but they're just kind of hard to find out in the wild. In the past, I've also used the Manic Panic Powder Foundation, and I find that that works really well for this too, but instead it will actually make your makeup quite a bit lighter. I'm taking this kind of small angled brush to go ahead and start sketching in my eyebrows with black eyeshadow. I prefer to do it this way to start with eyeshadow because it's a lot more forgiving than going right in with the eyeliner. This I can take off fairly easily without removing my foundation or my concealer underneath. To help make them symmetrical, you can see I'm kind of going back and forth and drawing in small sections at the time. I find that's the easiest way to get them even and then I'll kind of go back and fix things as I need to. I love experimenting with the shape of my eyebrows. That was kind of the main reason why I went ahead and I shaved uh, the actual hair of my eyebrows off because I can really be creative with it. And you see here, I made a mistake and I'm going in with my beauty blender and a little bit of foundation to kind of give me the opportunity to start over. And same thing with this little brush. I can go in and kind of shape them to match the other side better. I find the most important thing when doing this kind of graphic makeup is the eyeliners. These are the two that I use the most often. I'll usually pick one over the other just based off of what I can find. But personally, I like this e.l.f. liner better. The next one is a brush tip and this is a felt tip. So it just kind of holds its shape better over time because of that. And I'm doing the same thing here. I'm fixing the eyeliner with the brush. This is the palette I've been using recently. I'm going ahead and doing kind of the same thing as the eyebrows. I'm going in and I'm sketching it with some black eyeshadow first to get the shape even. Now I'm going to add the top of this sort of wing shape. And when I'm doing this, I'm bringing it in just above my crease. So that way, even when my eyes are open, you can still see the liner there and it doesn't get buried in my crease. Now I'm taking this round fluffy brush and I'm adding some brown around the parts where the black is. Usually I will stop bringing it in around halfway above my eye and really focus it more so in the wing. I'm blending this in so I'm using kind of small repetitive movements to get it to add seamlessly to the black. 
I'm then going back in with that small angled brush to clean up after the brown and also kind of make it more pigmented there. It's not a big deal if it's perfect at this point because I'm gonna go back in with eyeliner to clean it up afterwards. I'm then going in with this light neutral shade in the concealer to lighten up the inner corner of my eye just to give the whole thing some contrast there. I personally feel like adding concealer to my eye is always sort of finicky, so usually it takes a bit of time for me to get it to lay right. But I feel like in the end result, it's usually worth it to have that like high contrast there. Then with a silver shimmer shade, I'm going ahead and adding that to the inner corner. I'll either do that with my finger, which does help it stick to use a finger instead of a brush, or I'll go ahead and I'll spray a small brush with some setting spray and pack the uh, shimmer shade in that way. Both are effective. I usually like to layer them though to get the best effect. Now for what I find to be the most stressful part of this whole thing, which is adding the eyeliner to the top as well as the uh, lash line. Just because if you make any kind of mistake, it's kind of hard to go back without taking up your eyeshadow with it. When I do the liner on my lash line, I try to keep in mind whether or not I'm going to be wearing fake lashes because I will make them a lot thicker if I know I'm going to have fake lashes just to give myself some more room to add those in there. Now with my favorite flat fluffy brush, I go ahead and add some black eyeshadow underneath to sort of tie the whole thing together. I really love this brush. I don't know why it just works better than everything else for kind of blending in black shadow. I'm then going in with a black waxy liner to go ahead and line my waterline. I always love to darken this little beauty mark here. I go ahead and use my eyeliner to line my lips. I just feel like the precision that this gives me is a lot better than any type of uh, lip liner that's out there. Bear with me here, I do kind of cover what I'm doing at some points during this, I'm sorry. For the most part, I stay true to my natural lip lines. Sometimes I'll overline the bottom, but not by much even when I do. Really the main thing that I do to uh, make my lips more dramatic is add these points at the top. I've always done them this way as long as I've been doing goth makeup and for whatever reason they've just kind of stuck around. This is my favorite liquid lipstick. I've been using this one for a few years and I really like the formula of this one. Uh, it holds up fairly well and it's not too uncomfortable to wear. This is the setting spray that I use. Once again, it's by e.l.f. And here's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like and subscribe for more spooky content. Bye-bye.